And welcome back. Bruce Porter joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents. Can you get a, like, getting hit with on the head with ice policy? I, yeah, because I didn't bring my hat. I wished I would have. I had to dodge coming in. Ooh, not prepared for that. I think That's it's not the one of your buckets. up there. I think he's it's doing that intentionally. Oh, is it? It's yeah. kicking it off. Yeah. It's like, there's that Bruce Porter. Yeah. I'm going to get him. Big chunk. <laughs> hey, yeah. you wrote a book. Check this out. This yeah. is Bruce's book. I love this book. I really do. It's called Finding the Courage to Retire. Yeah. And I am eh, roughly halfway through. Yeah. This is full of really good information, and it will make you feel really good, and it will scare you to death all at one time. Because Which is it what makes books you, are supposed yes, to do. That's right. Because it makes you think about all the things you should think about prior to, yeah, getting to. Absolutely. You know, we've talked a lot over the last, what, three, four years about all the different things we, we got to discuss yeah. when you're approaching that. It's not just finding an investment and putting money into it. It's planning for when your money is going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in writing this book, I did a lot of research. I drew from a lot of my own experiences over the last 30 years. But I, I have found, and the people that have read the book and have come in and talked to me, they didn't think near enough about the whole process of planning their retirement until they've read the book and it sheds some light on all the different things that you need to be thinking about. Mm -hmm. It's health care, it's risk, it's it's what's my income going to be? Finding the, the courage. Finding the courage because retiring scares the heck out of people at times. Yeah, it does. It really does. They just don't put enough thought into it and the unknown is always scary. So now we're used to working. Everybody's comfortable getting up, going to work. Uh -huh. But what if tomorrow, that's not your responsibility mm -hmm. anymore? Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden, I don't have to go to work. So what am I going to do for income? What am I going to do with my time? What kind of hobbies am I going to have? A manager <coughs> might feel useless when all of a sudden nobody needs him. Nobody needs anything managed. You're not managing anything. So, so there's th lots of things to think about. Right, that alone is part of it, but then when you start thinking about, am I getting, you, and you say that one of the big fears is, will I run out of money? Yes. And then you start thinking of all the ways that one can run out of money, the big ticket items like health care and maybe long-term care and all of these things can just, and if you don't, you treat your taxes right. Ordinary health care alone is, is kind of a, up in the air because of cost of care. Right. Cost of care is expensive. Prescription drugs are expensive. And keeping up with that as we get older, having our income keep up with that, it's very frightening. I see it every day with my older clients that are coming in. And the number one thing we're trying to do is stretch that dollar. Mm -hmm. They're trying to figure out how can we create another dollar or how can we stretch the ones we got. And when you're faced with that, because you don't have the ability or the desire to go out and earn another mm -hmm. dollar, you got to figure out how to make what you got work. Mm -hmm. And it's a daunting task. You got taxes, you got health care, you've got ordinary expenses, bread and milk might be higher in five years than it is today. We got to think about that. Okay, now where, you know, finding the courage to retire your book. Couple of uh, important dates coming up and mm -hmm. one of them has to do with the book. Tell us about that one. Uh, January 31st, three o'clock at my office. We're gonna have a book signing. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of people inquire about the book and wanna come by and pick it up. So we decided to just do a little book signing right at our office. So if you wanna get a book and have me sign it, That'd be great. I'll be glad to do it. You can come by at 3 o'clock on the 31st. And then next week, don't forget, we have a workshop yes. on the 22nd. And if you want to come to the workshop and you can pick a book up there, that'd be great too. 6 o'clock at the office, Will does a very good job of, of introducing the basics of estate planning. And we have had an overwhelming response uh, to this workshop. And uh, people just can't get enough of it. And they, they, it opens their eyes to the questions. It helps them get a plan in order. And people are really responding very well to that. And yeah. sometimes if you don't even know the questions, that's where a lot of the fear comes from. Mm -hmm. oh, if absolutely. you have questions that you know, ah, now I can find answers. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Will breaks it down. You don't have to know everything to get started. Right. You just got to know what you want. So I've often said, the only three things we want to accomplish 
here's your stuff, here's who you want to handle it, and here's where you ultimately want it to go. If you can establish those three things, we can help you navigate all the forms and everything to get it done. And you're way out ahead of again, a lot of people. Uh, then. Doing it affordably, Will's a very good man to visit with. Yeah, and it's so important. This book, Finding the Courage to Retire, again, it's a little bit like a checklist. You can look through this and say, haven't done this, haven't done that, I have done this. So like I said, it'll make you feel really good and other things it'll make you say, I And it's an easy thing. read. It is we, an easy we read. We break it down to where it's kind of a common sense approach to this financial world because trying to figure all this stuff out is is very daunting. Yeah, don't go so, it alone. Right. Hopefully exactly. you'll be there on the 31st. I may even be out there. That'll be hey, fun that'd be day perfect. for sure. Yeah. All right, if you have a financial question for him, you can always email him at bporter at color10.com. He'll answer your question on the show. Thanks a bunch. Good to see you. All right, we'll see be you next right week. back to wrap things up. Don't go away.